Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. This is Pradeep and you're watching Vlog of Note. So every year, Android fans have a discussion about the Samsung Exynos processor versus the Qualcomm Snapdragon processor. And Apple fans wonder how much the Apple A series of processors is going to embarrass Samsung by this year. Let's get started. So unless you're living under a mushroom, you probably know by now that Samsung has two series of processors on their flagship phones. The first is the Samsung Exynos processor, that's their own processor, and the second is the Qualcomm Snapdragon processor. Yes, that's right, the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra, the ultra premium, the super expensive phone, is actually worse if you buy it in India with the Exynos processor than the same phone that you buy in the US with the Qualcomm Snapdragon processor. Now, this has become so bad that Mr. Who's the Boss, an excellent YouTuber, has done a video comparing the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra Exynos version versus the Snapdragon version. He's found the following four points. I will link to that video in the description right next to that like button. The first point is regarding performance. Now, this is not a small difference between the Exynos and the Snapdragon. It's actually a pretty significant difference almost half a generation. The second is regarding battery life. The Exynos processor is a lot worse when it comes to battery life. It's almost two hours less than the Snapdragon processor. The third is regarding camera performance. Now, you know how Snapdragon processors handle better camera performance because they have better processing power. Smartphones use their processors to do a lot of computational photography. And if you have a worse processor, it's probably going to result in a worse picture. To compound this issue, Samsung is actually going to be using worse sensors on their Exynos processors. So you have a worse sensor and you have a worse processor, it results in a horrible picture. The fourth point is regarding thermal throttling. Smartphone manufacturers don't want their processors to become too hot. So as they become hotter, they start to throttle the performance. Apparently, the Exynos processor will actually start to slow down after just 20 minutes of gameplay. All of this confusion has resulted in a change.org petition. I will link to that one in the description in which they're saying, stop selling us inferior Exynos phones, Samsung. Apparently, the petition lays out the following points. One, Samsung should have universal parts on all of their flagships across the world. Or two, they should have clear disclosures. They should tell us that this is the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra for dumb people and this is the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra for smart people in the US. I highly recommend you go and sign the petition immediately. In all of this, Apple has gone ahead and leaked their A14 Bionic chip or their embarrassed Samsung Ick chip, which is going to be powering the iPhone 12, the 12 Pro and the 12 Pro Max. It is a five nanometer process, meaning it's going to be even more battery efficient than the iPhone 11. And that itself was already the battery king of any smartphone. It's going to be 3.1 gigahertz. On Geekbench 5, the single core score is going to be 1,658 and the multi-core score is going to be 4,612. To put that in perspective, that's around about as fast as a 15-inch MacBook Pro or an Android phone with a Snapdragon processor three years from now. The Snapdragon 865 has a single core score of 927 and a multi-core score of 3,388, whereas the Exynos 990, which is found on the India Samsung Galaxy S20 series, has a single core score of 849 and a multi-core score of 2,725. Here's where we are right now. If I want to buy the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Plus, which is going to launch in the latter half of this year in India, then I will be left with a phone that is slower than the same phone which will be sold in the US and which will be way, way slower than the iPhone 12 Pro, which will launch at the same time. It's a really sad situation to be in. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think of this whole Samsung mess in the comment section down below. As always, please go over to YouTube and subscribe to the vlog of no channel ring that notification bell so that you never miss a video and i will see you guys in the next week's episode